So dudes, welcome back to episode two of our Pokemon Ash Gray Let's Play. In the last episode, we didn't really do a whole lot, but we got our Pokemon to start off with, so I'll show you them here. We got our Pikachu here. He's a little asshole. <laughs> well, actually, he kind of started to enjoy us or like us towards the end there, but he was he was he was kind of rude last episode. So uh, we got our Pikachu. We got uh, our first encounter with Team Rocket, and we didn't beat them, but we were strangely, I guess, allowed to uh, pass. So. In this episode, we will be going through the Viridian Forest, and I know that there's one thing we have to do while we're there, while, wow, speaking is difficult, there's one thing we have to do while we are there. So, we'll get on up there and we'll check it out, and uh, we'll get Pikachu some level grinding while we uh, go through it. So, let's uh, not get caught on that, and let's run on up here, and let's get going through Route 2. So, in the last episode, um, like I said, we were able to beat Team Rocket, but strangely, like, we didn't have to beat them. I don't remember if that's how it went in the anime. Wow, first patch of grass and I encounter something. So I do know that I have to catch a Caterpie and I don't know if it's a timed event because I know Ash gets a Caterpie. So I'm gonna catch one regardless, just in case. But uh, there's another Pokemon coming up in a little bit. Uh, I won't spoil it too much, but there's a Pokemon that we gotta catch in Viridian uh, Forest here. And I know it's a timed event through Ash Gray where like this Pokemon is sitting there waiting for us so we'll have to uh be ready for that because i know that we need that pokemon to advance through the game and that's one of the things you'll find in this game it's a little bit weird in that there are certain things you have to do or else the game won't progress forward so like spoiler i guess uh in the future we're going to get a charizard and that charizard is not going to listen to us i mean if you haven't seen the anime my bad but yeah that charizard is not going to listen to us so Anyway, we've got our Caterpie here. Uh, I'm not going to give him a nickname as I alluded to in the beginning. I don't really care for the old nicknames, but we will uh, we'll get him back to the Pokemon Center too. I don't want to waste a uh, potion on him. It seems kind of pointless. Uh, for the most part, like I said, we'll be going through Viridian Forest today. I don't really know how Brock's gym works in Pewter City, so that could be Episode 3, but it might happen in this episode. We'll, we'll just have to see... Uh, a, how long it takes, and B, if there's certain circumstances um, for fighting him. Because I know that uh, it's, it's a little bit different than uh, if I were to just battle him and, like, pretend this was, like, Pokemon Yellow, I guess you could say. Which is probably the most relatable thing to this game. Just because you start off with a, uh, a Pikachu in that game. Um, in that game, I would probably level up my Caterpie to a Butterfree and then have him use Confusion to take out Brock's Pokemon. But in this game, I don't know if there, there's a special thing that has to happen. And uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil it, so we'll see. Um, I'm hoping that I, oh damn it, I gotta switch that, the Grawl off of uh, the first tier move or the first move set because I just like to jam the A button or in this controller, or in this case, I should say. In this case, I'm using a controller my uh, PS4 controller, so in this case the X button. So I need to not jam that as much, and hopefully it doesn't poison me. Okay, good. I don't know what Weedle's speed is, but I don't know why he's going faster than Pikachu here. Pikachu should be one of the faster Pokemon in the game, especially to start off with. Oh, it must be a speed tie, since we're going back and forth here. So my goal coming out of Viridian Forest here would maybe to have Pikachu like level 10, I think. So we'll grind through some of that. I think level 10 is a respectable amount. And maybe our Caterpie, I don't remember what it was when we caught it, but maybe like level 8 we'll say with that. I think that gives us a decent team to go with. Um, there's a battle at the end of the Viridian Forest, so I do want to be prepared for that. I'm just dropping spoilers all over the place. Maybe I shouldn't tell you guys what's coming up. Um, I've only played through this game... Uh, Pokemon Ash Gray that is one time I think and I didn't even play it all the way through so I don't know everything that's going to happen but I do know like I said uh, the anticipation based on the anime but I don't know where the timed events are where the key events start etc etc so I don't know everything about the game but let me know if you guys don't want me to uh, spoil things like that my bad my bad my bad Might have to use a potion here. Hopefully it doesn't get a crit. That would just be annoying. All right, I'll take a crit. That works. Perfect. 
Additionally, I guess, um, let me know too if you don't want me to do the grinding on screen. I think it works just because Viridian Forest is a big playthrough and I want to have enough in this to have an episode, I think. Because there are some pretty key events that happen in Viridian Forest, but like if we're going through a route and nothing happens, maybe, oh shit. Do I want to risk it? I don't. I don't want to risk it. We'll use one of our potions here. Our only potion. I forgot to buy some. Luckily, we have that uh, that first one, so remember that. There's always a potion in that beginning. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, in the future, we don't have to show the grinding on screen. We can probably save that for another time. Or just fast forward through it. Like, if we're going through a route that I know isn't going to have anything significant in it, then I'll probably just fast forward through it. I think that's fair. But you guys let me know. This channel and uh, this Let's Play, it's going to be more about you guys. Um, obviously, I'm the one playing the game and I'm doing it because I enjoy it and I think this is fun to do. But the channel should be about you guys in that um, obviously I'm not going to get views if nobody's enjoying it. So... And that's kind of a fundamental thing in this. I mean, if you're doing a YouTube channel, a uh, gaming YouTube channel, or I guess any kind of YouTube channel. Um, damn it, pressed. If you're doing any kind of YouTube channel, I mean, you want views. Not necessarily because it makes you feel better about yourself or you're a view whore or something like that. But, like, you're doing this to kind of have an enjoyment with it. Like, let's say you go and make a movie, all right? You go and make a film and you've got this film done. You did it because you like that story and you're committed to that story in some sort of way. But additionally, on top of that, you probably want some people to see it. You don't want it to be a story that's never told or never shown out there. You want people to enjoy that experience with you. So I think that kind of applies the same with uh, like any sort of YouTube channel, whether it be gaming, I don't know, a makeup channel, um, a film channel, whatever it may be, I think that applies both ways. Oops, did I hit the help button? Yes, I did. Okay, so the <laughs> the uh, the triggers, or not the triggers, the uh, like R1, L1 buttons are the help buttons, so whoops. Oh my gosh. All this poisoning. Yeah, this is going to be annoying, this grinding, but I really do want to show everything in Viridian Forest because I think it's important. A uh, important part of our journey, so we're gonna have to go back. I'm gonna buy a shit ton of potions and antidotes, so we don't have to keep going through this. And thank God this isn't a nuzlocke because your boy don't care. Your boy would just let him uh, <laughs> go down. Pikachu, that is. Sorry, Pikachu. I know we're supposed to build strong bonds and become best friends and homies for life, but uh, yeah, if you faint, it's fine. Yolo. All right, so let's look around and see if we can find the old Pokemart. Is this one? Nursery. Mart. There we go. I don't know how many Pokebucks we got, but, all right. So let's get, I can buy up to 10. We'll buy five of these. And we will get, I probably don't need that many antidotes. We'll get four of these. We'll get a little bit more potions. Is that even good grammar? Get a little bit more potions? No. We will get two potions. There we go. Paralyzed heal shouldn't be an issue, I don't think, but we'll see. Never say never. Justin Bieber up in this joint. I gotta say, this is kind of difficult doing this. Like, when I sit down and record a commentary, a like a Call of Duty commentary, it's like, it's whatever. I can, you know, get through that and uh, not have any too many issues. I mean, I do fumble over my words sometimes, but like, just talking for like 20 minutes straight, whether it be about a game or... So I'm getting a little deep in the forest here. I don't want to go too far. Just because I don't know exactly where that event is timed at. I want to be careful with it. A metapod here this will be some free points for us but yeah like just talking whether it's about a game or just talking for 20 minutes straight it's kind of difficult 
Like, I didn't think it would be that hard. And I definitely need to get some water for the next episode. The old throat's running dry here. So like I said, around level 10, and I keep saying, so guys, like, does it bother you when you're watching a video and you're, um, whether it be a let's play or whatever, but mostly a let's play, I guess you could say, or even a commentary, commentary, and people just say the same things over and over again. Like I say, so like I said, or I say, but a lot, does that bother you guys? Leave that in the comments below. I thought about like incorporating graphics into this because I know there's a lot of people who uh, do Pokemon Let's Plays and then they'll have like a layout and graphic work is something that I'm definitely uh, well inversed at, well inversed at, wow, that I'm good at, we'll, do, we'll just say that, something that I'm pretty good at. So I thought about doing that, but at the same time, like, I feel like Ash Gray doesn't really need it because it's like a one screen thing, you know, and you're kind of... Um, I, I wouldn't say stuck into the team you have, but your team is like predetermined to an effect. Cause like, obviously I want to have Ash's team. I want to follow the path of the anime and I don't know entirely if I'm forced to catch, uh, only Pokemon that he would or not. But for the most part, I want to try and stick to that, uh, stick to that setting, I guess you could say. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Dun, 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 dun. So let's talk Pokemon for a minute. Where do my experiences with Pokemon come from, and how did I get into it? Because I think uh, we we need something to talk about here. This grinding it gets a little damn it, gets a little repetitive, especially when you click the grawl button. <laughs> um. So I got my first Pokemon game when I was seven years old, I think. Um, I got money for, what was it? Uh, first communion, I think. Is that something you get when you're, I, I mean, I haven't done any religious practices in a long time, but I grew up in a primarily uh, Catholic family. Anyways, um, I got my first Pokemon game um, when I was seven years old, second grade. I got money for uh, whatever, like I just said, and I went and spent that money on a Game Boy Color. I bought a Game Boy Color Green and Pokemon Red. Now, I'm sure as we all know, if you ever tried to play the old Pokemons in the car, you really can't see the screen. So, we were driving home, my dad went and took me to get it. We are damn it, we were, uh, we were driving home, and I remember making my, actually we were driving to my grandparents' house, I don't remember why or we were just going out there or what we were driving to my grandparents house so i popped the game and tried to play in the car and obviously that screen was just so dim it's so impossible to see so i made my character and i couldn't read like when you were naming yourself so i think i named my guy like like a g f f a a b c q you know something ridiculous or crazy like you just slammed your head on the keyboard so i named my guy that and i think i got a, I'm pretty sure I got a char, still a Charmander then, because I always liked Charmander, because I remember seeing the show and playing with the cards before that, so I think I got a Charmander, um, but the next day, I just gave up on that save, because I didn't want it to be called, you know, keyboard slam, so the next day, I started a new game of Pokemon, and that was the last time on that copy that I ever created a new game. I played that game so long, so many hours, like even if I was bored, you know, 10 years old, 11 years old, like three, four years later, I would pop that cartridge in and I would play the crap out of that game. Just go through, destroy the Elite Four with my team. So I remember getting just a lot of hours on that game and it was a blast. So my very first Pokemon, like I said, was Charmander. I had a level 100 Charizard. Legitimate, just so we're clear. Legit. Uh, <laughs> no cheats there. Maybe rare, rare candies here and there. Um, I keep pressing that trigger or that, that R1 button. It's weird. Um, so yeah, level 100 Charizard. And it was just, it was the coolest thing in the world. I felt so cool having that. Um, growing up, we collected the cards and it was like a big thing in school. I grew up like when Pokemon was 
like a big thing. I'm 24 years old, be 25 this year. So I grew up when Pokemon was just huge and it was starting to explode. Um, so I remember like going out on recess and, uh, you know, trying to trade Pokemon cards and I never got that shiny Charizard. So when I was, I think I was the first one in like my friend group who played the games to get that level 100 Charizard, I was the coolest person around, or at least I felt that way. Um, so yeah, that was pretty fun. Um, whenever silver and gold came out, I don't remember, but I know I got it for Christmas whenever, whatever year it came out. And uh, yeah, I played the crap out of those games and that ice puzzle in gold was the, or gold and silver, I should say, was like the hardest thing for 10 year old, nine year old Dean back in the day. I could not do that for the life of me. All right, I am gonna go down and go to the Pokemon Center just one more time because um, we're running out of uh, Thunder Shocks here. I don't know how much that poison took him down. So yeah, share some of your uh, Pokemon memories down below. What What's the very first thing you remember from Pokemon? Uh, maybe you have a similar story like that where you couldn't name your character because you couldn't see the stupid screen. Or maybe you, uh, I don't know, like picked your Pokemon and hated it. Or maybe you got a shiny right off the bat. I don't remember what uh, when shinies came into play. But maybe you started with a different Pokemon. What Pokemon game did you start with? No! Pikachu affected. Nuzlocke. Gotta delete him now. Gotta gotta release him. JK. JK. So, more things to talk about. More things to talk about. Where did you guys find the Pokemon Let's Play community? Um, For me, like I... I mean, as you guys probably know, or maybe don't know, I've been involved in the Call of Duty community. Maybe not involved. I don't think that'd be a a, a, a proper word. But I've been a part of, like, the Call of Duty community since Modern Warfare 2. That's when I found a, uh, a Call of Duty gameplay. I don't remember what I was searching for specifically. But I came across Hutch, and then I came across Next Gen Tactics on Machinima. So, anyways, I, I found that whole YouTube thing. And with it, I sort of just kept watching gaming videos, whether it be more poke or uh, more Call of Duty or more first-person shooter games. And eventually, I found um, Pokemon games or Pokemon uh, channels. I think the very first person I came across was uh, Munching Orange. He's got a really good um, Soul Silver playthrough, and I think that's actually what I was searching for. I think I was searching for how to do something in Soul Silver, how to find something in Soul Silver, and I came across his channel and I watched the crap out of that because it was just entertaining and I thought it was really fun. Um, I don't remember the extent of when I found that, three, four years ago maybe? I don't remember the time frame exactly. But I found that, figured, what the heck, maybe I should do something like that. I tried a Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play. If you've been through my channel long enough, you may have seen that. We got through two episodes of it. And then that was when I just kind of uh, decided I didn't really want to do the YouTube stuff anymore, mostly just uh, time restraints, etc. But I came across uh, Munching Orange first, and then while I was gone those two years uh, away from YouTube, away from posting, I should say, I, uh, I came across the King Nappy's channel, and Nappy's just, I gotta say, dude, dude's not PG friendly, he's definitely uh, rated R, so if you're... You know, under the age of 15, I'd say. Maybe maybe be careful checking out his channel, or if you're... I don't know. Just, just uh, yeah, he, he definitely... I mean, I usually don't mind too much. I swear a little bit. But homeboy over there, he don't play around. He's a good guy, though. He definitely posts um, really entertaining content. Um, yeah, so I that's kind of where I started, or at least found this stuff. And we're going on 20 minutes of just grinding here. So you know what? We're going to try it. We're gonna go through. I know I didn't level up the old Caterpie, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna try it. If I fail, then it happens. But like 20 minutes of grinding, like that that's too much. Nobody wants to watch that. So we're gonna come up here, maybe. I was gonna run from this, but if it's a level seven Pidgey, 
I can one-shot this and get some good XP. And it might push us to level 10, which would make me happy. Not quite, not quite, but good enough. So we'll come up here. Maybe. Okay, so this is the this is the event that I was talking about. We get this Pidgeotto here, and I know that I have to catch this. I really wish I would have saved, but... Okay, so hopefully it works. We're going to paralyze it. I'm not going to T-Shock it because that's going to make it go down. Or make it fall, I should say. Um, we're going to try and bring Caterpie out. Hopefully he uh, sand attacks instead of Gus because I think Gus will one hit. Oh, man. No. Okay, cool, cool. So we'll try and get a tackle off and get some points off. Cool. Paralyzed. Sweet. I know we, I, I mean, I don't know if we have to catch this thing, but I know it's pretty important to the story in terms of, like, this is the very first legitimate Pokemon that Ash gets. And crap, my accuracy fell. Probably not going to get it. Oh, no. That's probably going to beat me. Shit. Okay. So. Hopefully, I have five Pokeballs. Hopefully one, Pikachu doesn't die in the process of trying to catch this, but hopefully that's enough damage on it. I don't think it will be. Come on. Hold down those B buttons, guys. Down B. What other, ri what kind of rituals did you guys ever like make up in terms of trying to catch Pokemon? Cause like down B was always something that I always thought worked. Okay, sweet. We got Pidgeotto. Good, 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 good. Sweet. So that's our that's our kind of milestone for this episode. We caught our Pidgeotto here. I'm gonna heal him up because I know we're gonna need him or her. I don't remember what gender it was, but uh, I know we'll need that Pidgeotto for this upcoming battle. Shh, spoilers, spoilers. What battles? There's no battles coming up. Uh, no, we've got uh, we've got something coming up here. I mean, I, I'm sure you can guess who it is. Let's let's just say we're gonna get an opportunity at uh, at some redemption here. You know, we didn't win that very first battle against someone. I don't know who it was, but someone. Actually, we first start off with uh, a couple trainers here. I probably could have done this sooner and cut this episode down a little bit. But yeah, I think definitely in the future I won't. Uh, level grind on screen. I don't think that's very entertaining. So I'm not bad guys, but hopefully you enjoyed the video so far and uh, Yeah, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts were. I think we had some good dialogue at least at the very least uh, We had some good conversation there I, I think I've asked you guys some pretty interesting questions in regards to Pokemon So at the very least we, we established that we've got uh, a friendship here building I should definitely save after this battle too. Cool. Gust will take it down. I don't know if Gust... Is there, like, flying-type moves in this game? I don't remember when flying was first incorporated. But, like, I seem to be taking birds out pretty easily. Or, uh, bugs, rather. So, we're gonna get our save on. Cool. Just in case. I know this chick... Yeah, she'll heal me. Sweet, because we got a battle coming up. I'm going to save it again. I don't remember, but I think this battle's a double battle. So I'm going to put Pidgeotto in our second slot here so that we can use him. Or Pikachu, rather, I guess. Put him in our second... Or, yeah, him. Him in our uh, second slot, so if it is a double battle. There we go! <laughs> so we meet again! We're here to get your big Pokemon. Hand over that Pikachu. That Pikachu is exceedingly rare. Uh, Pikachu is pretty hard to find in Viridian Forest, but I don't think it's rare. Its power surpasses its evolutionary level. Hand it over or prepare to fight. Well, I mean, I didn't get the option. I would have just gave you Pikachu. You asked so nicely. Jerks. Yeah, it is a double battle. Okay. So they're level 8, and I have a level 8 and a level 9. So I should be good, but uh, you never know. That intimidates a little annoying. So we're going to hit 
Uh, Ekans with the gust. And we will T shock Mr. Coughing here. I probably should have just T shocked um, Ekans just to make sure he goes down. But I think Gus will make. Yeah, it's pretty good damage. Why are you getting so many crits, boy? Come on now. I guess I should say girl. I mean, the Pokemon's a boy. But the trainer's a girl. Because uh, Jesse has Ekans, right? So this will finish him. This should finish him. Maybe not finish him, but that'll do some good damage. We'll get out of the wrap, too. Oh, it didn't kill him. What the fuck? I really thought he was going to go down on that. Pikachu. Don't you fucking faint. Alright. Hopefully this takes out coughing. Cool. Sweet. We're going to take out both of them. And get some nice juicy experience along the way. Team Rocket ain't got shit on me, son. Cool. We got a redemption on the old Team Rockets here. Took them out. Took them down. Team Rocket thwarted again. Ash got 640 Pokebucks for winning. Team Rocket's blasting off again. You may have won this round, but we'll be back. Yeah, I don't doubt that. They tend to always come back. That's one of the things that, like... I mean, I know the, the Pokemon anime is meant for kids, but... The old Team Rockets, man, I'm telling you, dude, like, every episode is just like, Oh, Team Rockets here again. What are we gonna do? I don't know. You think, like, Ash would learn how to handle Team Rocket? I mean, I guess he doesn't ever really lose to them, but you think that he would, like, just be like, Team Rocket, really? Like, Pikachu, Thunderbolt. And just be like, done, peace, bye. Maybe that's how it is now. Oh god, is this the Metapod battle? Oh, maybe I was supposed to have a Metapod by then. Oh jeez, I hope not. He's got a pincer, level 10? Damn. Yeah, I maybe was supposed to have a Metapod by now, but let's, let's, we'll just, we'll just beat him. I mean, fuck it. Hopefully we don't need this. Hopefully this does not affect anything. So focus energy, what does that do? It like raises your critical hits. Good job, dude. I'm going to take you out this turn anyway. So, oh, I spoke too soon. But I'll take you out now. You're trying to raise your critical hit ratio again? Good try, brother. Good try. Sweet. Damn, that's some good XP. Like, can you even get a Pinsir level 10? I don't remember how Pinsir evolves. Pidgeotto should not be at level 7 or whatever I caught him at. Like, you can't get a Pidgeotto at that level. So he's going to go to Metapod. I'm just going to get some XP with Caterpie here. Oh, no, he's going to keep using Harden. So I'm going to have to go out to uh, Pikachu. I can get those physical attacks. Damn it. Yeah, because uh, in the... In the uh, the anime for this episode, it's like notorious. It's the number one battle because it's just Harden. 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 It's like what Metapod can use Harden longer. But we don't have a Metapod, so hopefully that doesn't screw us over. Like, I know I'm going to beat him, but hopefully it doesn't screw us over in terms of storytelling or like key events. Do you hear that buzzing? I think I'm only going to do voices for key people. Oh my god, a Beedrill Swarm approaches? Quick, get to my cabin. I hope you learned your lesson, novice. You, your, your letting that Weedle escape almost cost us our lives. The other trainers from Pallet would never be so irresponsible. I had three matches with Pallet trainers. Those trainers really knew how to raise Pokemon. Though I lost... I've been training to face the next trainer from Pallet, but you proved to be only a novice. Uh, I beat you, brother. Now rest your Pokemon and leave my cabin. I think, like, yeah, like in the anime, like, there's, like, a swarm of Beedrills or something like that, and Ash tries to catch a Caterpie. Thanks for the antidote, homie. Peace.
And then this guy's like, oh, I'm a badass. I have a pincer. Did you see that beedrill swarm? I could hear the buzzing all the way from here. So, like, maybe I was supposed to do the Metapod event, and then I would have got to face that beedrill swarm, but, I mean, I'm not complaining. I apologize for this episode being a little long. I mean, like, what, what's the no, what's the number that people would look for in terms of how long a uh, how long a episode should be for a Let's Play? Because I've seen 10 to 15 minutes, I've seen 30 minutes, I've seen 50 minutes, but like for me, I try to keep it around like 15 to 25. So we're hitting 30. I'm a little bit over where I would want to be, but like it's not huge, but it also kind of more, it's more important in terms of uh, what you guys would think is uh, where it should be, I should say. I'm kind of running out of the old breath here. I need some water so bad. So hopefully we get to pallet, or not pallet, uh, what the hell is Brock City? Pewter. Hopefully we get to Pewter City here soon. Buzzed. Nice. This game is just full of puns. Oak's over there dropping puns. He's like, ah, oh, Pikachu's electrifying. Pikachu, Pikachu. This guy's like, buzz. This is so punny. Pidgeotto is going to be a real nice level. One of our stronger uh, team members here. I'm going to try and get... Well, we'll talk about that when I get to the end. But I don't want to spoil everything. Damn it, Dean. It's the first time I'm seeing a Metapod. So one thing I, I like about this game, like I said... I Well, I didn't really say. But anyway, I enjoy that it follows the, the uh, story of the anime. But I do wish, like... Misty and Brock kind of followed you around. That'd be fun. It'd add a little something. Because you don't ever really have companions with you. I'm going to go talk to that homie in a second. We're going to go heal up and get this shiz done. Yes. No, stop it, Nurse Joy! No, asshole! Alright, so we finally reached Pewter City. We got to the destination we needed to get to. It took quite a while, but we got there, and that's all that matters. So anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. We will go through Pewter, hopefully uh, defeat Brock. Uh, we'll see what we gotta do. Uh, if there's any grinding I have to do, I'll... Uh, like, if I start the video out, and then there's some grinding I have to do, I'll, I'll just... Uh, yeah, we'll edit it out. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed episode two of the Pokemon Ash Gray Let's Play. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And uh, otherwise, I will see you guys in episode three. Peace.